when you are praying in, in other tongues you are plugging yourself to the power source and you are generating energy on the inside so as you are going in the spirit kayato zini mini kayendon zivele taya gadabaha zondon benden genden don zembele kayinana noze laboram don zilifrene kayanana ha jena you may have entered your prayer room weak in the spirit but you emerge strengthened in your inner man hello everyone good day good day yeah welcome to another episode of our ongoing series and this is the final episode <laughs> so we've gone through episode one two three four five six this is the seventh episode and you know we are trusting god that in this final episode there will be the uh, an outpouring of the spirit of god upon everyone that will listen or that will watch this video and you know um it's going to be such an experience you know for those that have not yet come into the experience of the baptism of the holy spirit you know the holy ghost will be coming upon you mightily for those that have experienced this dimension he's going to you know launch you into a deeper realm we are in for an encounter and i want your heart to be set i want your your you, I, I just need you to be focused in tonight's meeting just set your focus set your focus said i have set my face like a flint you know set your face like a flint upon the lord tonight he's going to be visiting you you know things that you know have been uh, 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 that, that has been holding sway in your life is going to give way those negative addictions we they will give way tonight because the holy ghost will come and he will consume it uh. the fire of the spirit will come and it will consume those things uh. he will refine you uh. he will bring you into a higher dimension he will launch you into a higher dimension you know your walk with god will take on a new turn you know just just set your heart on god and who he would come through so you are welcome to um tonight's episode um this is the bonaya okay if, if this is your first time here i want to say you are welcome we welcome you very much you are you are our vip and i want you to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we go live with any video you know this is a place where you would continue your work with, with god will continually be renewed as you you know journey with us um also like this video um everyone watching kindly like this video and make your comments as the video progresses you know um it helps to shoot up the algorithm of the video so that you know youtube begins to recommend it to other people on youtube so that they can come into the same blessedness that you have um that that god has brought to you so um do it to like the video comment on the video and if possible share the video um um tonight um we are going to be um um the focus is the baptism of the holy spirit you know um for those that you know are uh that want to learn how to bring others into this experience this video is for you for those that are not yet baptized in the holy ghost this video is for you so what i'll be doing majorly is to take us through the steps you know that you can that you can journey with when it comes to bringing others into the same as into into the experience of the baptism of the holy spirit and at the end of those four steps i'm going to take a practical session where uh um i would um you know i'll be ministering to those that have not yet received the baptism of the holy spirit so so i want you to um 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 stay with me on this video stay to the end and you know you'll be launched into a new walk with the spirit of god um now um there are four steps that i've outlined you know that when you want to um bring people into this experience that you can go through these four steps if you have so much time and by so much time i don't mean one hour <laughs> you are not preaching you know i mean you know unless you are doing a bible study with, with someone you can take that that long but what i mean by so much time is like between 10 to 15 minutes if you have that kind of time because personally i love um i love teaching before you know ministering to people do you understand you know i love to you know um explain some things to them before you know bringing them into the experience so if you have such time between 10 to 15 minutes you can go through from step one to step four but if you don't have so much time let's say what you have is like five minutes you know you can start from step three and if you don't have time at all you know you just need to get it done <laughs> that means you have, you have to go directly to step four and get it done so i'll be taking us through this um four steps so now the first step you know when it comes to the baptism of the holy spirit is, is that you have to create a desire in the person or in the people create a desire 
create a desire so in this step what you are seeking to um, achieve the question you are seeking to answer is why should I be baptized the Holy Spirit so in this step you are trying to you know present the benefits of the baptism of the Holy Spirit to these ones we are trying to present the benefits of speaking in, in, in other tongues to these ones you know and we've, we've tackled this in our um, first and second episode you know if you've not watched it the description or I'm um, sorry the the link to the playlist of this series will be in the description below do where to check it out watch all the previous episodes so in this first step you are trying to you know uh, 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 present the benefits of this experience to the people so what this does is that it creates a desire in their heart to come or you know to be a part or to um to be a part of this of this experience to you know begin to say oh this is actually um something that is good for me so once you are through with that step one you've created a design in their heart you move on to step two step two is creating an expectation in their heart you know um the question that this seeks to answer is can i is this for me so in this step we are trying to you know make the person know that this experience is for him or her we are trying to let the person know that there is no big deal <laughs> in what is going to like there's no big deal in the sense that it doesn't take much to be to be baptized with the holy spirit you, you you don't need to have been a believer for 10 years you don't need to you know go and fast and pray for 40 days you know um just make it simple you know that 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 brings that uh brings the person into an expectation so he's expecting the holy ghost to come on him or her at any moment in time do you understand so in this step what you can you know present to the person is that the only criterion needed for the baptism of the holy spirit is salvation once you have been saved you are qualified and you are eligible for this experience and then number two you can begin to talk um through the scripture present some instances in the, in the scripture where people were baptized with the holy spirit and there was no struggle it was not as if they prayed for 10 hours or you know you know they kept on beseeching god god baptized or baptized it was just a seamless process you know um for example in acts chapter 19 from verse 1 you know um to verse 6 or there about where apostle paul met, met some disciples and you know preached the gospel to them and immediately got them filled with the holy spirit you know it was an it was an easy process so you begin to create in their mind the the simplicity of this experience that is not something that is far-fetched it's not something that is difficult that even god is he, you know is, is ready so once we believe he will pour out the spirit upon the people so what this step will do is that it will create an expectation so they begin to expect the holy ghost to come easily do you understand because some persons in you know in their mind they're like okay so okay yes i i need this experience but how am i sure that it is meant for me number one and how am i sure that it can just come like that do you understand? so you must ensure that you have at the end of this step you must have you know broken it down to the point that the person you know begins to expect the baptism of the holy spirit so that's step two now step three is to explain the process so in this step what, what you are doing is to you know tell the person okay this is what um, we are going to do you know we are going to do this 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 is what you should expect to happen when this happens this is what you will do do you understand so in this step you all you are you are to explain to the person the um the different roles of the uh, uh uh the roles of the different participants in this equation so what is your role what is the role of the holy spirit what is the role of the person that you know we are praying for so for example we have said in our previous series that the role of the holy spirit is to give utterance so you explain explain to that person that okay once i pray for you the holy ghost will come on you that that one is unquestionable and then when he comes on you he is going to you know give you utterance it will be as though it, it, there are thoughts in your mind so you have to tell the person that that is the utterance of the spirit so what is the person's role you not tell the person once the utterance comes you open your mouth immediately and begin to speak those things in your mind so you are explaining the process to the person and then the fourth step and the final step is to just you know 
get along with it pray for the person feed the person with the holy spirit and then the person starts speaking with other tongues do you understand so these are the first steps the, the first one is to create a desire second one is to create an expectation the third one is to explain the process the fourth one is to get on with it get the person filled with the holy ghost and speaking with other tongues so you know i'm um, having rushed through these processes i'm going to just take it you know so I'm the person that is going to be baptizing some persons in tongues. So let's assume I've met the people, the people watching me now that are not um, yet baptized with the Holy Spirit. I'm ministering to them. So I'm going to go through the four steps. Of course, I'm not going to, to be saying I'm in step one, I'm in step two, I'm in step three. Yeah, <laughs> that's not what you'll be telling the, the person. But in your mind, you know that you are following those steps. And like I said, it depends on the amount of time that you have. The Holy Ghost is ever present. Do you understand? So you don't need to go through all these steps for him to come but in you know I, I, i've given you the reason i do that because um i i really love people to you know to know what they are coming into it it will help them it will guide them you know in their in their walk with the holy spirit so if you have that time please do a, a little teaching but if you don't have time the holy ghost you know will still come when you pray for people he comes he comes do you understand he's not you know you that is i'm um, seeking to bring people into this experience you must make sure that you firmly believe do you understand you are conscious of the fact that once you lay hands he will come do you understand do you understand once we pray to god for the baptism of the holy spirit he comes whether the person speaks in tongues because sometimes we are like okay this person did, did not speak in other tongues so he was not baptized with, with the holy spirit or she was not baptized it may not be so i've you know i've crashed out this um, misconception in our previous episode it may not be so do you understand if you know when i i believe someone that whenever i pray for somebody he or she must be baptized with the holy spirit must do you understand because i have come to understand that you know this is what god wills for the person and then uh, after you know taking time to explain to this person to teach this person and the person is saved and you know you know and and then uh, uh i pray for the person the person is filled so the issue is usually you know trying to um um bring this person to enter into the experience or to yield to the experience of speaking in other tongues do you understand so the baptism is not really the the, the challenge for most persons is to yield to you know to the utterance of the spirit so i have um some persons that i'm speaking to now and you know those watching me and i'm going to be ministering the holy spirit to you so um if you are not yet baptized with the holy spirit i want you to you know you know focus now <laughs> i'm talking to you so <laughs> how do we start all right so the holy spirit baptism is important for every believer this is a gift from god and if god gives a gift it means that it's important whether you know the benefits or not as long as god has said i am giving you this it means that there is a reason you are not wiser than god do you understand you are not wiser than god so there is a reason god gave the gift of the spirit the baptism of the holy spirit with the evidence of speaking in other tongues there are benefits to it some of the benefits you know you know are that you know when you begin to speak in other tongues it helps your prayer life you know the the life of the, the life of prayer is actually what powers a believer and speaking in tongues is what will help you in this growth process do you understand so for example when you know you 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 are prompted to pray i don't know if god has ever you know you know told you to pray and you don't know what to pray you know for example you are going through your day or you are sleeping and then you just wake up and you feel like there's something wrong somewhere that you need to handle in the place of prayer and you know you don't know what it is so at those points what do you do it is the um, the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of praying in other tongues that will help you to pray aright because at that point you don't know what to pray in understanding for so you just delve into the spirit and you pray in other tongues and it settles it so the the, the um, speaking in other tongues is very important for your life it helps you to you know it's helped you to open up your spirit to the understanding of scripture so any believer is just like um a believer that you know is speaking in tongues like the one that is you know taking the lift the one that's not speaking in tongues like the one that's taking the stairs so it helps you get to your destination quickly do you un understand so um it's something that is easy as long as you are saved 
you can be baptized with the holy spirit as long as you are saved you know it, it, it's not rocket science do you understand it, it, um when you go through the scripture it's just one minute it's you know the holy ghost comes so god is willing and you know he has he has poured out his spirit upon the earth <laughs> do you understand so once you believe now the holy ghost will come upon you because you know god is not is not withholding his, his spirit he has poured it he has poured him out upon the upon the whole earth so once you believe he will come upon you right now so um you don't need to do anything you don't need to go for 40 days fast and prayer you know it's some is someone that is available now and you can encounter him now do you understand you know there have been several persons i've prayed for and you know um i, I remember praying for one um um muslim convert you know um we met in school you know she was already um a christian when we met but she had not come into this experience i explained these things to her and i prayed for her and she began to speak in other tongues you know that was one of the moments that you know strengthened my conviction that ah this thing is real this is real so you know it's something that you know you don't need to you don't need to go back home and go and pray and fast for 40 days before you come and re receive the holy spirit is something that you can receive now and he is just by the corner waiting for you to say holy spirit come upon me and then he would come upon you because god gives good gifts to his children so what we are going to be doing now is that um we are going to be praying and what will happen is that what i want you to do is to um shut your eyes mm, and then you will pray in understanding and ask god to baptize you with his spirit to pour his spirit upon you do you understand after you've done that i will take it off from there i will you know pray for you and then what will happen is that the holy ghost is going to come upon you and then you begin to receive what will be as though you are the one thinking it. you will receive some thoughts in your heart that is not in your language remember when after you finish asking god in your understanding you close your mouth why it's important is because you cannot speak in understanding and speak in tongues at the same time so once you've prayed for god to baptize you you close your, your mouth and you begin to watch your heart you begin to watch your mind look into your mind you know with your eyes shut you are looking into your mind and once you receive that utterance in your mind you now open your mouth and begin to pray those utterance that you have received do you understand do you understand so once i pray for you you will get the utterance in your mind it will be as though you are thinking those thoughts but those thoughts are not your thoughts they are the thoughts put by the holy spirit in your heart in your mind you know the these are the utterances that we are talking about so you know um what i just want you to do is to open your mouth immediately and begin to speak and then when you begin to speak begin to speak loud do you understand okay <laughs> make sure that you are in a place that you can you can speak loud so begin to speak loud what it does is that it you know it 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 subdues it subdues any negative thought that the enemy may, may be bringing to you oh are you sure this is real because when you begin to speak in tongues the enemy may come to your mind and begin to tell you ah hope this is real hope this is real so when you begin to speak make sure that you are speaking loud so that it, it can drown your thoughts and as you speak loud you know you are being launched into it more and more and more and more so make sure you open your mouth to speak and make sure you speak what you can hear don't mumble it don't mutter it you know speak it out loud what you can hear so that it will take care of negative thoughts that the enemy may now be bringing into your mind so are you there just lift up your 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 your, your hands and shut your eyes whether you've been baptized already or you are expecting to be baptized just lift up your your your, your hands shut your eyes those that are not yet baptized open up your mouth now and begin to ask god ask the holy spirit to come upon you ask him to come upon you let him come upon you with the evidence of speaking in other tongues let him come upon you those that have been baptized already begin to ask for a fresh infilling a fresh infilling right now a fresh infilling right now a fresh infilling right now pray pray in your understanding in your understanding in your understanding in the name of jesus amen now those that are expecting to be baptized just um 
still shut your eyes but don't say anything again i'm going to pray for you once i pray for you watch your mind things will begin to um tongues will begin to come to your to your to your thoughts to your mind you know the holy ghost will give you utterance so once you receive that utterance you now open your mouth and begin to speak do you understand kayado shiata in the name of jesus holy ghost come upon this ones now in the name of jesus Holy Ghost, come upon this ones now in the name of Jesus, huh? like a rushing mighty wind. Come upon this ones now. Huh? Oh, Genaman Donzi, Zekabalande Rusi Balanaka, Genoman Denzi Cabarano Sivretia Combreti Valata, Zenoman Bendensi Alfonto Veleta, Jagababaha, E Combendenzun Devres Cabarandi Veleta, Zinomanandia, like a rushing mighty wind. Huh? Oh, Zen. Mangon denzi lo prene mama ram deleta je mama that is it kaya nanande jato de beleta that is the utterance of the holy ghost open up your mouth and begin to speak now resun sebene non kamina veleta je nanosia stronger 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 holy ghost stronger stronger res copreta isone babalante kaida rokoto bente nos even as kapalata ha mene non jata as you are speaking speak what you can hear reggae de gontem Banden Zuseha, Elegaden Gonsayata, Mane Shana Mama Mamaha, Eraga Dombre Sane Barra Venete, and Don Zize Veneta, Lagata Bonata, and Geno Maram Don Ziri Frada Baba Baba, Eco Pemendon Zana Mama Mama, Ragata Baba Baleton Zana Mamaha, Erega de Gete, Manan Don Zereco Bredi Palataha, a son of Mamma Peleno Mashataha, the Holy Ghost is here, Reco Bredi Mamma Mamaha. Those already baptized in the Holy Ghost is bringing into a new dimension. Uh, begin to pray in other tongues. Uh, La cosi se frata ha. Enta mama mante no si veleta. Ragada papa pa ha. Landensia he is coming like rain. Uh, for some persons he is coming like rain. Uh, it's as though you are being drenched. Uh, to some others he is coming like fire. It's as though there is warmth uh, on the palms of your hands. Uh, on your face. Uh, Resana mama mpe. Edenko toko pa ha. Enshana mampara da ha. Holy Ghost ha. Resko pretanda atekos eveneta. Mene mama mbaha La kwa senda baha Dipa, dipa, dipa Reska papa pate Enta uska papa langa Erra kapa paka paka Ele kwa skete baranda Endo uska papa ha Mama bampa rasondo ha Eto uska papa pa La kwa mre tanza ha Erra kasko pereda ha Mama mpe le kopa Rasko papa papa pa ha Zeko pre tanza ha Ele kuta pa Maranto roska penepe Ente kwatas kapapapa, je kapapalaka Yield her, yield her. Just release yourself, ha. Release yourself, ha. Madaskana da, da la kuates kapala da. Roska papa papa. The utterance in your mind, those thoughts in your mind, begin to speak them out, ha. Roka papa kapala da, eta kuas kapala da, elaba. The Holy Ghost is here, ha. Randen sa kapapa ndeski pa, ha. Je kapapa is here, ha. Roka da papa papa la kiata, ha. Neska tom barata. Takate raskate veleta ayada ba ayada ba ayada ba ma 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 ba ba. Esko ba 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 lata ha, reska di da ha, aba das ke be da ha, aba das ke de ha, manan shaka ha. Just continue speaking. Continue praying, continue speaking, continue praying. Mananda shanda balata, reska bele tabaha, mabam bele ten sonada, raka da 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 baha, jeka baban deske bele tabaha, abele ten skabara da balata, eka baba baba. Continue speaking, continue praying, reska niya, ayeko aske balaba, mabam bada bala kabara da, eraka baba kaske teha, malakeshka, raska baba baba baha. And ask for a